run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another car boot haul. So I'm really treating you at the moment because we've had four car boot themed videos. It's pretty crazy, but I thought I would get the most out of this bank holiday weekend and uh, go to a few car boots, get a bit of stock in and also stock up on my YouTube videos as well. So yeah, really glad I could do that. I'm going to show you the selection of items that I got today. Some good items in here actually, some nice solid items, um, easy items to deal with. Again, I think you'll find with this haul, like with the last one that I was saying, that a lot of this stuff is fairly easy to deal with. I just generally these days pick up items, I gravitate towards items that don't need testing, don't need cleaning, don't really need much doing to them. Things that I can just literally put on. If I need anything to do into them, it's just something very, very small, like a very quick wipe or something like that. Um, but generally, just items at the moment I just pick up, I gravitate towards. They're just so easy to deal with. Because I'm lazy like that, I don't like doing, I never liked doing loads of cleaning or loads of testing when I had to do it when I was picking other bits bits and bobs up I just like things to be easy because I've got other things that I need to get on with as well so if I can streamline the process a little bit more in one area of my business then it means that I can do more ultimately in other areas but anyway that's the pre ramble done with I'm going to uh, show you the first item so shall we get up this riding hat for the first item not picked up a riding hat in so long and I'm very very glad I picked this one up it was a pound I think it was a little girl's because there was a little girl on the stall and it does look like a junior's one rather than an adult one. Now the lighting's going to go as, as you just saw there, it's going to go a bit funny. But uh, it says Dublin in there. I'm guessing that's the same brand as the Dublin Boots as well. I think Dublin is maybe a country wear brand, so we do a lot of country wear stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at around 12 quid on this, plus my postage of course. But from a quid, I can't complain there. Nice little margin there. But I would have liked, I would have hoped it would have been worth maybe 15 or maybe close to that 20. But still, 12 99 from, of course, a pound investment. Can't really go wrong with that. Doesn't look too bad condition. Obviously, there's a few little marks on it that I'm going to have to clean up. But it doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one there. So, next, arguably the only slightly lesser margin item of the entire haul. And I knew I was paying a little bit too much when I paid this, but it was early on, and as I mentioned in the vlog, it wasn't really going brilliantly. A lot of the dealers were moaning a bit, and then I was getting down because I was thinking, oh, well, maybe maybe it's not going to work out or whatever. So I picked this up. Now, I didn't pay four quid. I did try and get it for free, I think, but it, it, it wouldn't come down. But then, as I was walking away, I was just about to walk away, he said, um, I'll do it for three fifty, And I thought... I really shouldn't, but you know what, I'm going to do it. And I was thinking it's probably worth about 15 quid. To be honest, they're all over the place. There's a few that sold for a tenner. There's a few that sold for 21 quid. So, and then there's a few that will obviously sell for around 15 as well. So, I could shoot for 20 quid on this. That'd be free postage. Um, and that'd be a fairly decent margin, you know, 350 into 20 quid. But something tells me that I probably won't get that and I'll have to come down a little bit. But still, 350 into 15 quid, it's not too bad. But I'm just thinking if I end up getting low of mat, if I end up getting sort of, end up having to come down to the ten pound range, then that's not a brilliant margin from three fifty. But you never know; it might work out. I might get fifteen or twenty quid for it, and it might turn out not to be um, too bad of an item, not not to be too bad of a pickup. But yeah, I knew at three fifty, I was like, mm, maybe I shouldn't pick it up. But yeah, I just needed some items at that point. I thought I want I want to to get into this, and I want to get some items. It was one of the Probably my third or fourth pickup or something, but it was very slow to get going actually. This car boot, I had, I made my fourth pickup at about an hour in, or maybe a bit more than an hour in. So it was that just gives you an idea of how slow it was really. But yeah, anyway, that's that one from the same stall. I only picked this up because it was a quid. It's nothing special really. It's quite a modern one, I would say. A pound here for this Coke. Uh, sign obviously pubs and man caves and things like that have these signs I've not done any research on it but I would imagine only about a tenner on that possibly a little bit more possibly 12.99 plus my postage 
but I don't think I'm going to get huge money for it. Um, but yeah, so from a quid, I thought to myself, yeah, I'll pick it up. Um, and it's a nice little item, I suppose. And it is good for, obviously, as I say, man caves or pubs or whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, just not a huge, uh, not a hugely brilliant item or anything like that. So yeah, that's that one. So next I've got this small, that normally these are larger and, and, and obviously wider as well. But this is just a small sort of, what do we call it? It's almost like a trough, but it's not that. It's, it's used for... Um, it's used for planters and stuff these days. Um, and you can see there's little lion heads on it with the little, um, you know, the, these little wings on them as well. And as I say, you normally, these are quite common, but you normally see them a little bit bigger than this. This one was two quid. Um, and I thought I'd just pick it up for that because, as I say, it was a bit of a slow day anyway. Um, and I think I could probably get 14 99 for this guy. 12 99 or 14 99 It is a smaller one, but I still think I could probably push that. Um, and they do go, they are, you know, they're not too bad. They are fairly uh, decent sellers. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, next, I got about two kilos. I would say, like, 1.7 to 2 kilos around... Um, approximately of this Lego Primo. Now, a lot of people might not be familiar with this Lego Primo, or some of you may be, but this is actually Lego. I know it doesn't look like Lego, and a lot of people um, sort of just walk past it on stalls, but it is Lego Primo. It's like a really, really early one. Obviously, I know that because Nick has done a video on them ages and ages ago, and I just remembered it. Uh, I have had it a few times before. Um, and yeah, so it's about 1.7, maybe 2 kilos. In, in that range, I'm just kind of Guess, I'm making a guesstimate, but obviously I weigh a lot of parcels, so I could probably I'd probably be a, about right on that. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking 15 to 20 quid on this. There are bundles of this that have gone for a little bit less, maybe nine pound, ten pound plus my post plus the postage. But I think I think if I wait a little bit, I can attain a higher price because there are other buy it now listings that have got a better price for this. So I'm not going to undersell it. I'm going to make sure that I go for a better price, a more decent price, 15 to 20. And uh, hopefully I should get that, do some nice photos with it, maybe do a little setup with it. And yeah, I should get that. That um, whole bag there was just two quid. So I thought, yeah, I'm all over that. So hopefully two quid into 15 to 20 there. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Next, I just thought I'd pick this up because it was a quid. I have sold these before. It's brand new in sealed sequin art. I think I've sold them for around a tenner, £10 plus my postage, sometimes £10 free post. But I thought I'd pick that up because it was a quid and uh, brand new and sealed and everything. And, I, and it, it's something that'll probably just go around Christmas. So, you know, it's just a good item just to have on my store at Christmas and it'll get picked off at some point. So, yeah, there's that one there. So next we've got a couple of these uh, giant floor puzzles. This is Paw Patrol, so I thought, oh, that might be good to grab. She wanted a fiver for the two. I've got two of these. I'll I'll put the other one up. Uh, I'll pull the other one up in a sec. So obviously two pound fifty each. I tried to get her down to two pound each because I thought it'd be just a little bit safer there. I know it's only fifty p off, but I, you know, I just as I said in the other whole video, I always try to get some money off at car boots. Very rarely, or well, not very rarely, but maybe about thirty percent of the time I'll just take the price that's given but 70% of the time I will say you know oh would you do this price or would you knock a quid off or something like that because I just don't like walking away with it with the exact price you know car boots are in their very nature um, a place where you barter you know and that's half of the fun of it or that's most of the fun of it really so yeah £2.50 anyway seems that on eBay these go for around 14 to 16 pound I think on Amazon this only goes for 12 quid which is very odd actually because normally Amazon is the higher price you know more more high than eBay but yeah uh, these actually go for more on eBay looking at around 14 pound on eBay potentially obviously I'm going to put this away for Christmas or I might list it now but I think I might be able to get maybe a bit more at Christmas, so maybe I might be get maybe maybe I might be able to get 15, 16 quid. Um, obviously I can't get my words out today. I'm stumbling over them. But yeah, maybe I'll be able to get a bit more at Christmas time. So I might just shoot a little bit higher, a couple of quid higher, and just let it get picked off at Christmas because I'm sure it will for that anyway. So yeah, that's that one. And then as I say, there's this other one over here. This is Shimmer and Shine. 
um, and this one seems to go a little bit higher on eBay. Now, it does go for around 14 again, but there has one that's gone for 16, so yeah, potentially I'm going to go for around 16 on that, and again, as we come close to Christmas, that will probably end up getting picked off at some point, so yeah, pretty happy with them. Again, bread and butter items really, but still nice items to deal with, brand new and sealed stuff is always good. I've got a few brand new and sealed Lego poly bags to show you just literally in a minute. We're getting down to the end of the haul now. I've got through this quite quickly actually. Um, but yeah, I will show you the poly bags in a sec. So next what I'm going to show you is a bundle of stuff that I picked up. He basically wanted, was it coming in at 17? I think it was coming in at 17 and I wanted it for 10 but the lowest he would go is 14 quid. But actually, when I've got back and when I've looked through it and just had a little bit of a look, I've realised that I'm going to do pretty well on this, even though I got it for higher than I wanted it. So I'll show you the Dyson stuff first. Yes, I got Dyson stuff. I've never had Dyson stuff before, don't I? Although if I have, I've maybe only had it once. Um, but yeah, it seems like uh, even just in the bag, there's going to be some good good money in it. Um, and then I'll show you another Coke sign that I got. So I'll show you this Dyson stuff. So... Here's the Dyson stuff. Um, so this is the bag. It's a genuine, I don't know whether you can see that round there. It's a genuine Dyson bag. Um, and he originally had this up, Dyson tools. He had this stick it up. At, oh, you can't really see it there, but it says four quid. Um, now the bag alone really is, well, maybe worth around four quid. It'd give you a little bit of a lower margin, but I'm probably looking at around 15 quid on this bag. One's gone for a tenner, but I think I saw one go for 15 quid plus post as well. So, of course, that's going to be some good money back out of the job lot already and obviously bring me a little, well, not bring me in profit, but bring me closer to being in profit. So just even on the bag. So pretty happy with that. So even if you see these Dyson bags lying around at charity shops or car boots, if they're a quid, two quid, maybe even three quid, definitely pick them up. So that was the first item in the bundle. And then I'll show you this Coke sign. So I got another one of these Coke signs. It was from the same person, but I didn't pick this one up originally because he had it stickered up at two quid. And I didn't think he would go down to a quid because he, he was quite harsh on the uh, little car, the Airfix car that I've got down there. He didn't really want to come down, so I thought I'd probably just leave this. Um, but I went back and did this bundle deal and he said you can have this for a quid. Uh, but well, before we worked out a, a bundle price kind of thing, but as I was looking at it, he just said to me you can have it for a quid. Um, but yeah, so this one, again, it's nothing special. It's very generic. Again, probably a tenner. So that's probably going to be maximum, really. That might even be free postage on this item because this just isn't a brilliant one. I think the other one's a little bit better than this one, to be honest. This one just seems even more modern and not, not quite as good. Um, but yeah, we'll see on that one, maybe around a tenner. Um, but that's that one from the bundle again, so from the £14 bundle. And then I've got the Dyson parts, again, from the same £14 bundle. So we've got this one here, I think this is a suction thing where you put it on, it's an attachment, and then it does some sucking. Um, again, the words that I choose to use, taken out of context, it would it would be filth anyway um so i'm thinking i've not done research on these tools i did research on the bag these are these tools are the only thing i've not done research i do try and do research on pretty much everything but i didn't even know how to search these and stuff and i thought i really want to record the whole video and you know how it is and all the rest of it so yeah i didn't do research on these but i'm guessing something like that has got to be 10 quid 10 12 15 quid something like that I know it seems quite a lot just for the item, but it's Dyson stuff, so even these little parts are going to be, you know, worth some money. So I would imagine at least 10, 12 quid on that. You know, if you want to go away and do research yourself, it's quite easy to obviously go on completely and sold and stuff. Although I don't have a, you know, a number for this. I don't have a model number or a part number, so that's why it might be a bit hard harder to research. But yeah, there's that one there. And then I've got a load of different kind of you know tools and utensils again maybe even doing these as a bundle and the other stuff i'm going to show you now I might be able to get 20 quid out of this as a bundle uh, as well as that other part there on top and as well as the bag on top as well so i've got those two there um and i've got some other like you know little cleaning attachment things here this one's a clear one um and then i've got ooh, one sec things are dropping everywhere and then i've got another cleaning attachment here i mean it might be that some of these are worth selling individually but i'm just thinking even as a job lot i've got to get 20 quid for them if not more than that so uh yeah you know 
pretty decent here. Nice little uh, investment on that £14 uh, job lot, but this isn't all of it. I also got all the poly bags with it as well, and they're going to be kind of the main money out of the job lot. So, yeah, there's all these Dyson tools, so there's going to be some good money in that. So I think we're up to, if we say the Coke sign's 10, we say the Dyson's bag's 15, and let's say conservatively I can get 30 quid out of the part, which I think is pretty much spot on maybe maybe a bit more than that though um then that's what 35 45 out of 14 quid so i've got 45 quid out of 14 quid in sales value of course already and then i will show you the poly bags in a sec so lego poly bags so on amazon i've scanned all these in but i think there's 12 of them or 11 of them again I'll reiterate because I always like to repeat myself about a thousand times and it does annoy people. But these are from the £14 job lot again. Um, and I scan them all in and all all of them total come in at 82 quid sales value. So again, 45 quid plus the 82 quid, what's that, 127 quid or something like that anyway. So potentially 14 quid into 127 quid sales value. I'm pretty happy with that. Now, there are a few poly bags in here that are sub a 10 of actually about four or five pound on Amazon. So I might actually pull them out and do them as a little job lot on eBay and then just send the ones up to Amazon that are maybe nine or 10 quid because there's a few of those ones in here. I think this one's nine quid actually on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so I might do that and then it might just reduce that 82 pound average sale price. Well, not average sale price, but 82 pound sale price down a little bit. But still, there's going to be some good money in this job lot. So this one here is an X Wing fighter, I think it is. Mini X Wing, uh, nine pound that goes for on Amazon. Um, we've got this little droid, Vulture, Vulture droid here, that only goes for about four quid on Amazon. Uh, we've got a TIE fighter again, about four quid on Amazon. Uh, we've got another, oh no, we've got this thing, I don't know how much this went for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how much that went for, but as I say, the total was 82 quid anyway, so there's that one there. Um, we've got another X-Wing, which is another 9 quid on Amazon, £9.45 I think we were going for. Um, we could public attack cruiser, again, I can't think on that one, but I think that was maybe a bit higher, I think that was maybe a little bit higher that one. Um, and then we've got these, which are £10, no, £11 on Amazon, £10.95 on Amazon, both of those, uh, eight, is it a, oh, it's an ATST, I thought it was an ATDP or something, um, but yeah, there's, there's those two there, so 11 quid each on those, we've got Imperial Shuttle, I think that was 7 or 8, 7 or 8 on Amazon, um, we've got another X-Wing, so another £9.45 on that one, and then we've got another couple of cheaper ones at about four quid each on those. So yeah, there's about 12 poly bags there, as I say, coming in at, uh, was I right there? Yeah, 82 quid Amazon total. So yeah, you know, that's everything. Uh, you know, as I say, I said at the end of the vlog, it wasn't a brilliant day today. It wasn't mega, mega, but it wasn't as poor as I first thought it might be. You know, when I was starting to look around and I was not really picking that much stuff up early on, I was thinking, oh, this is going to be poor turned out okay i mean yeah okay these are all just pretty much bread and butter items might be one or two items in here that are a little bit better or just over that 20 quid but um yeah mainly bread and butter stuff but i don't mind because that just helps the business keep going and uh, some of it's you know some of it's toys and games which is good because that can give me a faster sell through opposed to just getting all the antiques all the time so yeah um i'll leave it there guys thank you very much for joining me in this video and uh, don't forget if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you did like the video then please do smash the like button down below and uh, yeah if you have any comments questions or queries drop them down below and i will see you in the next one so see you very soon guys